Well, it's time for our final thoughts, and I have to say, I am thrilled with the Wham Bam build system. The installation was a piece of cake, taking the minor steps as you saw inside the video to make sure we don't have any air bubbles in, but it really was easy as one, two, three. I did make a modification on the build bed, but after speaking with Wham Bam, I'm doing in slightly unorthodox way of putting it on the build bed, but it do does work quite the same. The only difference is, is they actually want you to put it on the heated bed surface itself, not the actual inserted plate that goes in there. And I have a couple of reasons why I don't want to do that. The first reason is the PEX coating, although really, really good, and the filament as far as PLA or something like that is going to stick really well to it. If you print PET G on this, it will adhere to this plate. Now they do say that they have a special coating so that it's less likely to attach to this plate. However, I don't know if I want to run the risk of damaging my build bed unless it says it won't permanently stick. So resist sticking and won't permanently stick are two totally different things in my book. They are coming out with some different build surfaces so we can be looking towards those to help solve those issues. I will say that customer service for Wham Bam has been nothing short of great. They promptly respond back to any problems, concerns, thoughts, uh, and give advice along the way. So they are really quick to respond back, either on Instagram, on Facebook, or even via email and their website. So customer service is top notch. Now, how is the adhesion level with, with the Wham Bam? I will say that the adhesion level for the PLA that we've printed, just a few parts here on it, have been superb. And I mean really good. It sticks so well that I was completely shocked at its results. But when the bed cools off, I almost don't have to flex the bed at all to get them to just simply pop off. And that goes for the ring that's here too. Once the bed is cooled off, they just seem to magically come off, almost like glass. So it's really a great system for that. Now I haven't printed anything really huge on the bed yet. I'll do that in future. And I don't know how long this PEX coating will last, but there are a few things to make it go that much longer. The first one is always clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Mine happens to be green, but the clear stuff works just the same. If you find that your prints are no longer sticking and you're cleaning with isopropyl alcohol, switch to acetone and wipe down the entire surface and use your triple aught steel wool. That will return the, the PEX to its sticking ability. And with that being said, that's all the maintenance that you should have to do with this until this surface wears out. Now, how long does that take? I can't find anywhere where that tells me. So with that said, I'm going to be following up on videos with this as we progress throughout the year. We're going to be printing on this a lot. Large prints, small prints, teeny prints. Whatever we're printing, we're going to see how well this build bed holds up. And if it holds up for more than a year, that's going to be superb. But to be quite honest, this is a really thick membrane. And I expect it to hold up for the lifetime of the printer, if properly cared for considering we don't have to use our scraper anymore to get parts off. So these, well, these are history. You don't need them with the Wham Bam Build Bed system. It works great across all platforms. You have to be careful with combinations of filaments and the surface, but outside of that, you're good to go. They have the flexible build bed system in a single pack or what they call a double wham kit. Now don't be surprised when you order the kit if you only get one magnetic base because they only supply one magnetic base in that system but they give you two build plates so it's a quick hot swap. So that's why it's a double system. If you want an extra magnetic base so you can apply this to two actual printers then make sure that you order a separate magnetic base with it and make sure you put that in notes when you order. 
But outside of that, Wham Bam is amazing. The only downside to this whole system that I can tell you is it does take a while to get your delivery of the Wham Bam. It took me almost a month. And for me, that's just too long. I do think that they're going to be recovering on that and bringing that delivery time down now that they're into more production. But it does come from Taiwan, which I was a little surprised at. I thought they were going to come from a U.S. supplier, being that the main company is here in the U.S. But they do come from overseas via DHL, and they do supply you with a tracking number so you know when your delivery is coming. But I was really impressed with Wham Bam, and would I recommend Wham Bam? Totally, yes. I would recommend Wham Bam because it works, it works well, they're dependable, and their customer service is outstanding. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and happy printing, and bye for now.